Hello, everybody. Welcome back once again to the return to Nangrim playtest stuff, which I'm allowed to show off, courtesy of the very generous game developers who allow us to show off stuff. Now, what have we here? A new component has been added to the test. But first, I'm going to go and take a look at the forge because the update notes have stated that there have been a number of changes to the forge. Now I've put off covering the updates because the last couple of updates have been somewhat minor in regards to the forge and I was waiting for something significant like new recipes or in this case inventory management. But let's just dive in here and take a quick look because there have been a few changes. So the majority of the changes to the forge area have been cosmetic. That is graphical enhancements, visual changes. So let's go and take a look at those. Um, the most noticeable one, apart from some changes to the menu system, is that there is now more ivy in the forge. And the ivy is procedurally generated. I've no idea why. <laughs> but we now have randomly generated ivy growing all over the place. Hmm. Makes it look very... Let's just... Yep, we will skip these because this is familiar. So the architecture is supposed to be improved. The, the dwarven beard beard statues reach the floor now instead of having a odd unsupported gap beneath them. Furthermore there's been a number of changes to the menus. Uh, I couldn't tell you exactly what. And a number of placeholder assets um, such as these tongs on the anvil here have been upgraded to look better when we look at them close with the camera. Also, these wooden pillars now all go up instead of going at odd angles. And they don't come in at awkward diagonal angles apart from this one which is broken. But yes, there we are. The forge now looks nicer. I struggle to understand why the developers would implement randomly generated ivy in a single player game. Unless the random generation allows them to create areas faster because they can have the computer randomly generate the ivy so they don't have to hand place every single leaf and stem. I'm not sure. Uh, if you have any ideas or thoughts as to why they would put randomly generated ivy in the forge, then feel free to let me know in the comments section, you know. Because it's there, you might as well use it. Um, what else have we got? We've got the usual things on the table, we've got the chest. Um, there was an issue when opening the chest could occasionally cause light to shine through the back of the chest a bit. That's apparently been tidied up a bit. Ooh, the apprentice's note is gone. Also, there's a new name hidden somewhere. Again. For... But it might not be here. It could be outside the forge. So, as usual, I will always check in there to see if it's inside the roof of the place. It doesn't seem to be this time. But hey, there's a whole new thing to go look at, so let's go and do that. And as the screen freezes, yes, here we go. Ooh, yeah, you lucky people haven't been able to see this screen before, have you? Yeah, I've been careful to hide that from you all. 
So we are allowed to do content videos on the stuff and show it off for publicity. Now let's see what we have here. A new tutorial to explore. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get my, my grubby little dwarven hands all over it and see what I can find. Although, since there is a new secret challenge, maybe I shouldn't try and show that off and should instead do that off camera. So... We're outside. There's snow on the ground. Bits of plants coming through. Oh, that's looking a little low resolution there. The grass is good, though. Is, is that wheat? Looks like wheat growing through the snow. And we have, I presume, procedurally generated ivy as opposed to hand-placed non-procedurally generated ivy there. Right. So, this is our new tutorial for inventory management. Will we get messages popping up? Yes, we will! Welcome to the second component test. On your journey, you will come across many a thing and you can't carry everything with your bare hands. You will find a backpack serving as your inventory and you will also get some cool new things to discover. Enjoy your stay and don't forget to fill out the survey once you're finished. Now, last time the survey didn't work, there was like 10 or 11 pages to it and after the second page it wouldn't load the third page, so I'll see if I can. I'll see if I can, but no promises. I mean, if I can, I can, that's great, you know. Now to your task. This area is home to a rare type of mushroom. You'll recognise them from their distinct light glow. I mean, it's quite a a reddish glow with a little bit of orange to it near the top. Your task is both simple but not less important. Collect six of these mushrooms. Well, I presume I want this rucksack to carry things in. Oh. Backpack. I'll need this for sure. Oh, yes, we will. Now, do I have a... Yeah! Inventory work in progress. The character view is work in progress. It is subject to change and is thus not part of this component test. Although, now there's been some interesting discussion about this because um, there used to be a very old game called Soulbringer. And on Soulbringer, there weren't equipment slots for every single piece of armor you could have. Instead, when they were equipped, they appeared on the relevant part of the body on the paper doll in the inventory with the character being like a, a just grey, you know, dark cutout, and then the items would appear on. And then you'd have to, like, click on them and drag them off if you wanted to move them. Because here we have axes, hammers, torches. Um, no armour category. That's ominous. And these, we don't know what these are for either. Collectibles 2. Content placeholder. Okay, map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Content placeholder. It's fine. Oh, so these, like, left and right, one, two, like, keyboard keys? If they are, that's not what they do. Uh, weapons, resources, metal zores, wood, items, keys, edibles, artifacts, miscellaneous. Still no armor. Now, another thing about armor is, in all of the screenshots and videos we have seen the dwarf is wearing the same armor. Actually, look at this. This is definitely viewed from behind. From the lighting you can see the foot there going away. Um, this foot going away, you know, top of this hand. This is definitely a back view as he trudges forwards to destiny. Should keep moving. All right. All right, I'm working on it. Now then. Try different orbit space modes and specify your favorite in this survey. Um, orbit space is camera local. Camera. Oh, that is inverted. Camera local, turn left, turn right. Camera, 
turn left, turns right, turn right, turns left. Local, turn right, that's inverted as well. Camera local reverse, that's inverted, that's left, that's right. Uh, world, they're all inverted apart from camera local. Press to orbit, we can go up and down, okay. All right, well, I'm gonna pick that up. We now have some glowing mushrooms. This looks important. What's this? Did we just... No. Oh! I see. I see. We may have to fix the bridge to continue. With all these planks. A handle of an axe. Okay. Well, we want an axe to get through there. Sorry, what was that? Oh, he's not repeating himself. I'm not sure. He's a dour, taciturn fellow, isn't he? A grumpy little man. Well, too blooming right he is. I should have paid more attention the first time. Right. Now. Can I? D what have we got here? And an axe. Yep, that's fine. If we can get the axe head, we can make a temporarily fix on that. Yep, yep, yep. Understood, understood, understood. I think I have an idea what is expected of me here. I'm not certain. Doesn't look possible. All right. Well, obviously, we want to use some of them. Wait, that was enough? Just all in one go? It was like two planks, man. It was like, oh, hello. Right. Uh, that is somewhat hard to read. Um. I presume I'll need the whole thing. Oh, I see. Yes, to, to repair the axe. That light under... Is there like a crouch key? There's not. This isn't full Skyrim controls yet. But here are some mushrooms. And we will pick the mushrooms. We have a mission, and we're not going to neglect it. I mean, we are. We're going to get totally sidetracked, aren't we? But okay. Look at that nice light. Oh, yes, what's this? I think I have a greater understanding of how this is going now. But wait, there's more. More red mushrooms. All right, is there? Can I combine this with, yes, absolutely this? Perfect match. I mean, it's not ideal. Yes, look at me punch the air. Have they fi No, they have not. They have not fixed the invisible elbow problem. Right. Let me just try and get a good screenshot to... That's not working, is it? Right. Nope. So his arms are literally invisible from the end of the gauntlets down, and when he does a big punch like that, um, it's noticeable. Right, how many of these do we have by this point? Uh, five. So we literally just need one more, which we're now about to claim. I should also check to see if I can read what's written on that. Just go. 
Ah, yes. Right click for left right hand attack, left click for left hand attack. I think those should be inverted. Honestly, we probably want left click for right hand, right click for left hand, just because otherwise we'll just end up going like this a lot of the time. And there! There we had it. Open up, little pigs, and let me come in, said Mr. Wolf. And he picked up a great big red mushroom. Hooray, I found all the red mushrooms. Problem solved. I mean, so now... Ooh, what's this? Wood. More wood. What do I want to do with that wood? Is there something I should be looking to do? Well, there is. Oh, hello. Ooh. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna. Climb up here and fix all these things. Ah! Hello, statue. Now, oh statue, let me look at you. Oh, I like, I can't rotate. I can go like that, I can go up and down. I'm taking a screenshot of that. No, no particular reason, you know. It, it, it's not like we're supposed to find this statue and examine it and uh, take take screenshots. Oh no, it's definitely rotating on this axis. So I can't I can't like rotate it like this and then go because it starts going sideways. See, they just nope. They definitely want me to see that bit. Lovely. Um, I wonder actually. Oh, wait, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, can I, um, please, no, fine, world, maybe one of these will allow for a, a better, nope, 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 okay, well, There. Oh, there we are. What a beautiful statue with a golden key and a secret hidden on the bottom. Lovely. Well, with that, I think I'm going to end this video. It's been a pleasure to revisit the world of Nangrim development. Can I destroy this bridge? Wow. It yeah, come on. Apparently I cannot destroy the bridge that I've repaired. I mean, it's worth a try, right? Just to see if we can absolutely destroy everything or just things we were supposed to. And how would I use these sticks to get up there and explore all those great big walkways? I'm sure there'll be something to do with them in a future uh, playtest or demo. But yeah, I should have ended this a few minutes ago, shouldn't I? Well, you know what? I'm going to end this one here. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I do look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Next time, there's some more wonderful news to show about the Dwarven world of Nangrim. Until then, though, I'm going to say bye-bye, everyone. See you all next time.